Hey there. My name is Roos Marijn, and I am the founder of the Healer Academy. In this video, I would like to share a little bit more about my spiritual journey, about the reasons why I started the Healer Academy, and about some of the things that really made me me. I remember about 15 years ago, I was walking the Camino de Santiago, a walking path in the north coast of Spain. That summer, I planned to work on surf camps. But somehow, there was a really strong calling to do this walk, this 600 kilometer walk over the entire north coast of Spain. I had no clue why. I had never walked more than 15 kilometers before in my life and I didn't even really owe walking shoes. But somehow I decided to call my boss, tell him that I was not coming that summer and I started to do the Camino de Santiago. As these things go in life, when you are supposed to be somewhere, life will help you to get there. So I found walking shoes in the garage. We still don't know where these walking shoes came from. It was wild, it was crazy. The walking shoes weren't my mom's, but they fitted me perfectly. So there I went off on the Camino de Santiago. And during the Camino de Santiago, there was a couple of instances that made me realize that there was more than meets the eye that there was more than the world that I'd always believed in. And one of the incidences that really comes to mind was right at the end. So imagine I'd walked 30 days, about 20 to 30 kilometer every day, big backpack on my back, way, way, way too much stuff. And there I was walking. And at the end of that walk, you hit Santiago de Compostela. So that's the last town that really marks the end of a journey. And I remember we hit the town exactly at 12 o'clock, which was when the mass starts, which calls out the pilgrims that have been walking the Camino de Santiago. So it was already pretty, pretty mysterical that we arrived exactly at 12 o'clock. We hear the church bells ringing and we know that we've made it. But one of the weirdest things was in the morning because there was a full, full, full mist that morning. And we thought we were not going to be able to see anything all day. But as we walked down the last hill and we arrived in Santiago de Compostela, it clears up. It completely clears up and the sun starts shining. Somehow that sun shining and the clock hitting 12 o'clock was a sign for me that something else existed. And after that, more and more stuff started happening in my life, which made me really believe in magic, which made me believe in a spiritual world. And I understand that this is not for everyone because you need to actually experience these kind of coincidences these kind of moments in your life to believe but for me to believe has grown so strong because so many things happen in my life that I cannot explain with my mind that I cannot explain with science people often ask me to prove my spirituality and I tell them you know, when somebody really believes in something, there's no need to prove. There's no need to show because that person knows deep inside that it is true. And whether it is true or not for you, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters, but whether you're watching this video or not, already shows that there's something inside this video which is important for you. And now you ask yourself deep inside of your heart, do you believe in a world, in a spiritual world, in a world where 
there is more than just meets the physical eyes. And your heart will know the answer. In my life, I started seeing past lives. I don't know what that animal was that just... Ooh, was it an animal? No animal, a burning incense stick. Beautiful though. I started seeing past lives. I started remembering. I started remembering all that we are made of. More than just this physical being and body alone. I started remembering some of the entirety of the universe. And although we maybe never be able to grasp the entirety of the universe, I remembered where we came from. I got visions of the Big Bang, so to speak. Visions of energy being separated to to merge into human form and the feelings of lack and the feelings of separation that that gave us this is why many of us feel lost at the moment it is because they still remember their home and their home was much bigger than this physical body and being alone the pain the excruciating pain that i felt when I remembered that and when I experienced that vision was hard to describe but I'm sure that you can feel this pain right now once I'm talking about it. Then I experienced the separation of the masculine and the feminine. So the separation of two beings that are supposed to be one. And I remember the split. I started getting visions of how we choose lives. I started getting visions of how we choose our soul family. I started getting visions of how we pick our family, how we decide what kind of lessons we want to learn, how we take certain lessons from one physical existence to another. I started remembering alien lives. I started remembering reptilian lives. I basically started remembering so much. I suddenly looked at the plants and I knew what they were good for. I knew what they were able to heal, how they were supposed to be made and I never had had this knowledge before. And in the period of nine, 10 years of traveling that followed, I started remembering more and more and more. And I felt more and more alienated from all the other beings around me because it didn't seem like anybody else was going through the same stuff. And when I explain the little bit of what I'm explaining to you right now, maybe 5% people would look at me like I was crazy. People would doubt the... doubt the reality of my experiences. But my experiences were real for me and they were not ones that I've chosen. I've chosen them at a subconscious level, but they were not ones that I chose on a physical level. Because it was hard. It was hard to feel so alienated. It was hard to feel like you are the only one in the world going through this. And for nine years I prayed for a teacher. For nine years I prayed and that teacher never showed up. I met maybe one or two people and one of them was Matthias Estefano on YouTube, which was experiencing similar things as I was. Even just hearing his message and seeing that there was another being on earth, even though only on YouTube that was experiencing the same stuff, was a giant relief. That is why I'm sharing my story with you today, because maybe you are experiencing some of the things that I used to experience. And maybe the Healer Academy can be a place where you can feel safe, where you can feel that you are not the only one experiencing these kind of phenomena. That the stuff that you are experiencing, whether it is the shaking, whether it's the remembering, whether it is the feeling of energy, whether it's the feeling of separations, um, the extreme amount of sensitivity that is growing inside of you, the ringing in your ears, the seeing of spirits, the starting to know events before it's actually happening. Whatever it is, it is a normal part of your awakening process. 
and there are more people going through the same as you are right now. That is why on a Guatemalan morning at 3 a.m. I got awoken by voices in my head that told me you have to buy this domain name right now. You have to buy healeracademy.com. And since I was a slave of my voices and I decided to follow a slave of my voices or I had blind faith, one of the two, you decide. I had blind faith, so I ordered this domain name. And for the last two years, I've been building. I've been trying to share a little bit of the knowledge and trying to capture a little bit of the experiences that I've had in a number of courses for you. These... These courses only grasp a little bit, but these courses are made especially for you to feel at home and to start feeling at home in your being, to start realizing that you're not the only one and that you can be surrounded and supported by a community. Because there's a reason that I went through all of this alone. I was meant to act as a guide. I was meant to act as a teacher, as a counselor for you. And I hope that you trust me enough and that you trust yourself enough to know that it's important to be supported in this process. That it is important to have a community around you and that just tell you, hey, you're okay. Hey, I've seen this. I've experienced this too. How can I help? Feeling seen is easy and yet it is so difficult when there's many people around you that are different. So... With this video, I want to tell you that you're not the only one. And that we're here for you. And that I'm here for you. And that we would love you to join our community. Our community on WhatsApp, but also our courses, our sessions. And if you need, reach out to our one, one of our individual teachers, one of the collective that can support you in your process. Trust your intuition, dear soul, because you are walking home, step for step, and every step along the way, I'm happy to hold your hand. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. If you want to follow more content, subscribe to the channel, or just join our WhatsApp community. For now, I'm sending you so much love, so much peace so much healing. May you remember your